Hello everyone. This is Jasmine. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel ECE Scholastic. So far we have seen two sessions under the subject control systems. So in this session we are going to cover some basic definitions under control systems. So this session gives you a clear idea about what is a transfer function, what is the difference between gain and transfer function and what is a linear time invariant system. Let's start the session. So first is we are going to see what is a transfer function. So the definition for transfer function is it is defined as the ratio of Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input with zero initial conditions okay so here comes a doubt why we are finding a transfer function and why we are taking a Laplace transform right so Laplace transform deals with continuous time signals so what is a continuous time signal a continuous time signal is nothing but a signal in time domain okay so if we are representing an input signal R of t so this signal is in time domain this t represents time domain okay so if you are giving an input signal R of t to a system and the output you are getting is C of t okay so we can find what is a transfer function so transfer function is represented as t of s or we can use uh, this expression h of s so h of s is equal to we are taking as Laplace transform of output. Output is C of t divided by Laplace transform of input. Input is R of t. So what does Laplace transform do? The Laplace transform converts a time domain signal to a frequency domain signal. That is t is converted to s. Okay. So time domain is converted to frequency domain signal. So Laplace transform of C of t is nothing but C of s and Laplace transform of R of t is nothing but R of s. Okay. So hope you understood what is a transfer function. Now here comes a question why we are using this condition zero initial condition. So zero in the sense we are starting from zero that is zero is the reference line of the system. So we are considering zero as the reference line and zero as the starting point. So we don't have any previous values. We will consider zero as the starting point. Okay. So this Laplace transform is only applicable for differential equations. Okay. Laplace transform is applicable for differential equations. As you know, what is a differential equation? So let us say like this. X is a function and Y is a function. So I'm going to connect this X and Y as dy by dx, dt is equal to dx, something like this. Okay, so Laplace transform is completely used to represent a differential equation. Okay, the other name of transfer function is nothing but system function or network function. So this is applicable only for a single input, single output system. So you can say it as SISO system, single input, single output. We are taking R as input, C as output. So we are going to find what is the relation between input and output with the help of Laplace transform using transfer function. Understood? Now let's see what are the characteristics of this transfer function. So this transfer function used to identify the stability of the system, range of stability of the system. Also it is used to find what is the overall gain of the system. So in general what is gain? Gain is nothing but ratio of output to the input. Okay. So using transfer function, we are finding Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input ratio. So which is nothing but gain of the system. Okay. Next is we can represent a system with the help of mathematical expressions, which means if I'm considering a system like this i am giving an input to the system let us say that is r of t and i am getting the output as c of t i am going to derive the system with the help of mathematical expression using this r of t and c of t okay so next is i can use simple algebraic equations to represent a system you can say it is used for analysis of the systems okay 
Next is it gives a 2D graph output which means I am taking R as input. Okay, I am taking C as output. So, I am going to draw a graph. This is our input and this is our output. So, this is a 2D structure. So, the final characteristics is it is used to represent the linear time invariant system. So, here comes a new concept linear time invariant which can also be called as a LTI system linear time invariant system. So, hope you understood what are the characteristics of a transfer function. Now, let us see what is the difference between gain and transfer function. As you know, gain as well as transfer function is nothing but ratio of output to input, right. So, what, what will be the difference between these two? So, this transfer function is represented with the help of equations, correct. Or it is represented with the help of equations with respect to time domain and frequency domain. Okay. So, we won't get a definite value for a transfer function. We will get only expression for a transfer function. But in the case of gain, we will get a value, real number value. And the value ranges within the limit minus infinity to infinity. Okay. Now, let us see what are the limitations of transfer function. So, the limitations of transfer function is, so in the characteristics itself, we have seen that it is only applicable to linear time invariant system. So, here comes a limitation, it is not applicable to non-linear systems, okay. Uh, and also, it is in independent of input. It will not depend on input, it depends only on the system parameters. Next is linear system. So, what is a linear system? If the output of the system is linearly related to the input of the system, then it is called as a linear system. Or we can say the linear combination of input will give a linear combination of output. Or in other words, you can define a linear system as the system that obeys superposition principle. So, what is the superposition principle? Weighted sum of inputs is equal to weighted sum of outputs. When we are having more than one input, we will apply superposition principle. Okay. So, the superposition principle follows two property. One is homogeneity property and the other one is additivity. Okay. Let us see what is additivity and what is homogeneity. So, first is additivity. So, let us uh, see this with a simple example. So, this is one horse riding a cart. We are adding one more horse riding a cart. So, what will be the result? We will get two horses riding a cart. Okay. Now, let us see what is a homogeneity. Let us see an example. I am giving a small amount of money and I am getting or an, and I am buying a car. I am giving a very big amount of money and I am buying a luxurious car. Okay. So, whatever input you are giving, corresponding output you will receive. Right. So, from these two examples, we can say input is directly proportional to output. So, let us see what is the superposition principle. Superposition obeys additivity and homogeneity. So, additivity in the sense it will simply add and homogeneity in the sense input is proportional to output. Correct. Now, let us see I am considering an input x1 to a system 1 okay, and I am getting an output y1. I am giving x2 as an input to another system. The output obtained is y2. Okay. Now, I am adding a weighted input A to the input of the system. So, I will get a weighted output. Similarly, I am adding a weighted input B to the second system so that I am getting an output as BY2. Now, I'm, this is called as homogeneity property. Now, I am going to apply additivity. So, what happens? My input side will get added together to produce an output AY1 plus BY2. Now, understood? So, this is additivity property and this is homogeneity property. Combinedly, we can say this is superposition principle. What is a time invariant system? So, time invariant system is if the output is not affected by changing the input, then it is called as a time invariant system. Here, the input is the time. Okay. Or in other words, we can say the input output characteristic does not change us with respect to time. Then it is called as a time invariant system. So, let us see an example. So, at time 0 second, 
I am pressing a key in piano. Let's say that key is A sharp. Okay, so it will produce a sound. Correct? Some sound is generated. And after some uh, thirty minutes, I am pressing the same A sharp key. The same sound is generated. And after some one hour, I am pressing this A sharp key. The same sound is generated. Oh, whatever may be the instant, I am getting the identical. output so the system does not vary or the output of the system does not vary with respect to the input which is called as a time invariant system okay so hope you understood what is a linear system and what is a time invariant system now let's see what is a linear time invariant system so the short form is lti system so what is an lti system if the system is linear and if the system is time invariant then it is called as a linear time invariant system if the system is linear time invariant we can find what is the transfer function of the system okay so uh, the main property of linear time invariant system is it is easy to analyze okay as we know we can use laplace transform only to differential equations okay so using laplace transform we are finding transfer function so if the system is lti we can find what is transfer function so the condition to find transfer function is we need to use laplace transform provided the expression is in terms of differential equation okay the other properties of lti system is it contains the past state values it it has a memory of past states so it is easy for the system to predict what will be the future of for the system okay so based upon this uh, memory of past states and prediction of future we can to a conclusion about the periodicity of the behavior of a system which is a, a long term behavior system or a short term behavior system we can come to a conclusion okay so the good examples for uh, lti is electrical circuits so the basic components of electrical circuits is rlc resistor inductor and capacitor resistor inductor and capacitor okay so we are going to model a system with the help of these three electrical circuits so the applications of lti system is signal processing control theory and seismology also we have a number of applications so hope that you all enjoyed the session uh, thank you for your patience if you have any queries feel free to ask my mail id i have provided in description thank you all have a great day